Siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino. Very special thanks to Head Junk for creating that beautiful, beautiful Siege Rhino song. I will put his links in the description. A very funny guy. So I know Anvil has been around for quite some time and it's always been on the fringe. Doesn't get a ton of play, but looking at the new Krenko Baron of the 10th Street has some pretty good synergy with it. Sack an artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on each goblin you control. And whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you can pay a red. If you do, you get a one one goblin token and it has haste. Sacking an artifact will make you the one one artifact here. You can pay one extra extra to get the goblin. Also important to note that Gleeful Demolition makes goblins, so you're able to use Krenko to kind of just pump your board. So everything else in the deck synergizes well with the Anvil. Eurobrass Forge, important to note that the token it makes is not an artifact, but you can still use this token for cards like Offering or Annihilating Glare. And Omnixilis is just a great card in this deck. It's kind of the unsung hero of the deck. Really provides a lot of pressure. You have creatures you don't care about sacking. And it also works pretty well with Forge too. Like if your Forge is on five, its casualty is by power. So you can get a five loyalty Omnixilis from sacking the, the Forge token. So check out these games and thanks for watching. Two tap lands. Oh man, come on. Um, but uh, I'm going to keep it. Man, if, if we had some non-tap lands here, this would be really nice with this Epicure and the Blood Harvester. Um, yeah, we'll just play the Epicure. Maybe opponent does nothing, and, uh, oh man, if we drew the land, we're playing against control, if we drew the land for Ob, it'd have been so big. So big. Um, so I think we're just going to sack the research desk so we can try to hit a land. Which we did not. Okay, we're just going to discard a glare. Still trying to find that land. We did not. I guess we'll play the Epicure. We'll attack for one. They play quick study. No lands in the top four cards in my library. All right, this is it. Let me get Ob down, please. Okay, we get Ob down. They can't attack it, though. Um, so we have to play Ob in plus, and we don't get to sack our Epicure now. Good chance they have a get lost for Ob, but hey, we'll see what happens. Let's just plus again. If they had to get lost, they would have played it. I think I'm just going to play a Harvester. And we'll pass the turn. We'll hold up the Fanatical, fanatical Offering. They play a Wandering Emperor. What do you want to do with your Wandering Emperor? Um, I think I like just killing this now. Are you playing Spell Pierce? Still have much to learn. Okay, they're going to go for the Ob attack. I will block. It's unfortunate that these are sorcery speed. I 
We'll just plus here. Drain them once again. They could discard a card, but they don't. I think I actually like sacking this. It's one of these removal spells. All right, Forge is good. Next turn we can play a Forge, and if we get to start making tokens, I would rather use my Fanatical Offering on that. Okay, Op goes down to two. Gleeful Demolition. It's plus. They must be holding up a counter spell, right? Must be. If it's uh, no more lies, I can pay the three. All right, they have a scorn, sure. I guess now they could uh, just go for the Anchorage play, put a counter on it. It's a good chance it's not a land. I guess they could miss twice. They did not miss. All right, shields are down. We can do whatever we want, but I don't know if we'll draw anything good. Okay, Krinko. <clears throat> I think what we're going to do is just make a 1-1. One, one. Sacrifice it to draw two, and we'll pass the turn. How many counters does an opponent have? I guess they have a temper another temporary lockdown. It just sweeps everything again for me. All right, what you got? <clears throat> Memory Deluge, pretty good card. have lethal next turn if we can get it off no temporary lockdown please okay that's one way to play temporary lockdown Let's get rid of this glare. It's not going to do anything, I think. Ooh, that's good. All right, there goes our board again.
This will even play around No More Lies. Let's go. That was a good game. <laughs> um, awkward, awkward, awkward. But I'm going to keep it. Maybe I draw an untapped land. Maybe. Put a mulligan. Red, white, big shocker. All right, let's play the ridge. Interesting. All right, we'll just play the harvester. I guess we have an artifact to sack to kill this. It's gonna generate a lot of value. All right, well, we absolutely have to kill this. I can kill everything, though, here. Let's play another Harvester. Kill this. And then we'll Surge on this. All right, good turn. Good, good catch-up turn. We're ahead for now. Main phase reinforcements. Why? 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 I'll be happy if they double block, actually. I'll take that trade. Okay, another reinforcements. It's got a lot worse. Um, I'm guessing they probably just have a recruiter then. I think this is the way. Let's make four one ones. And we'll pass. Okay. I'm pretty happy that this is their turn. Not even going to block. I'll take the three. We can race that. All right, let's play Krinko. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's attack with everything but Krinko. See how they block. They don't block, so let's sack this artifact. Pump up all our goblins. They go to eights. What you got? You don't want to attack with your creature land anymore? I'm guessing that's going to be on defense now. Drew a forge. Um, I mean, I could make a bunch more goblin tokens. Think that makes sense? So I want to make the tokens before I tap this to make them all bigger. Okay. Um, that's annoying. That is annoying, my friend. Sure. I guess I can just kill it. Yeah. All right, then gain two life. You got it. All right, they've had enough. Had enough. 
The sand would be good if I could draw a black source. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it. Not a black source. Um, yeah, we'll just play that Epicure. Playing against red white tokens. Charming Scoundrel. Alright, maybe just like red white aggro? I don't know. They make a treasure token. Interesting. Okay. I guess it is red white tokens. They're they're using Scoundrel as another artifact source. Alright. All right, nice. I mean, maybe we just do this and try to find a land. Guess there's no need to do this instant speed, though. Um, yeah, we'll just hold back. We'll hold back right now. For a deck that's, like, trying to chip away at their life slowly, Veteran is not very good for us. It's a lot of Harvesters. A lot of Harvesters. All right, see if we can't like control the board a little bit. It's pretty good. Go down to nine. Um, there's a demolition. Play Glare, sacrifice a blood token, and we'll play a demolition on our other blood token. All right, I guess now we can attack for one. Right, I think pretty easy blocks to make here. I want to play my Harvester so I can sack and kill this. I mean, we still, we still have a chance, you know? Actually, let's get the attack in first. We still got a chance. Make a 1-1, one, one, and then we'll plus. Gain a little bit more life. No reason for them to not pay the two here. Thank you. All right, another veteran. And they play that one. This having flying is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to probably use this harvester to kill it. Ooh, offering is actually not bad. Let's just see what Art, of, art uh, Offering gives us. Okay, got a Forge and an Anvil. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Yeah, I think I kill this. Sack here. Make a 1 1, drain them more. Alright, we'll pass the turn. Really, I want to be taking the damage from this and block here and kill it. Since I have this at three now, I'm more inclined to block with this and I can make another devil. All right, another recruiter. It's unfortunate. I don't even think I want this forge. But I need to save this. Oh, I was going to say, I need to save this artifact. Alright, let's make a 1-1. One, one. Let's plus. We're still alive. Everything is fine. Everything is just fine. I feel like we're actually uh, turning this game around. Depending on what this last card is and what they draw here. I land. We love to see that. No more recruiters. Them playing the trained troops. What the? What is, what is Song of Totenes? And it has haste? All right, what a draw, what a freaking draw. Um, yeah, I guess we keep this. Another red white deck, surprise, surprise. Surprise. Okay, get your little scry. Plus one, plus one. Only activate only as a sorcery. Did you know that? Did you know that opponent? Maybe they did not know that. Filling a big convoke here. Yep, they're they're touching their creatures for it. Okay, they're just gonna scry. We like to see that. And they've left it on top. So we we kinda know it's coming, right? I like this play, I think. Um, let's sack the Epicure. This Krinko's in our deck, we want goblins. Attack for three. These forges feel kind of awkward in my hand right now. Okay, they had a war leader's call. And they choose not to attack. I think we just get Forge going. No attacks. Um, we maybe should have killed this Harvester, or this Veteran. One card, what do you have? Sticky Fingers. You can make a Treasure Token, sure. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um...
All right, I am going to go for the aggressive line here. No artifact sack. Well, there's Krenko. All right, we'll do some damage. Sure. What else did you get? Really? Really? Whenever it's dealt damage, I can exile that many cards. How are they doing damage? Or is it just me doing damage? Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. And attack with everything, but my Krinko. We'll let them have the top cards. They get a four. They get a look at some cards, though. Oh, we get to look at cards, too. It does it for both of us. Okay. I thought it was just the opponent. I was like, oh, okay. Um, what did they get? A sacred fire and a planes. Did you know that lightning helix is in the format? Do I want to eat and alive this? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we just pass. All right, glad I saved eating alive for that. They can't attack though, right? I guess they have sacred fire, they go back up to seven. They do attack. But now they just lose? Unless this card is something spectacular, but I guess they have the treasure. So they have four mana still. What do you got? I don't know how they get out of this, really. Okay, well, that's, that's a way. They just made a bunch of blockers. That is a way. But now you got to sack your treasure, I guess. Are you not wanting to use this? I don't. I mean, I guess I get to exile two more cards if they use this. So I guess that's what they're thinking about, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they just conceded. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Did you know it's your go? Am I lagged out? Like, why hasn't the rope started? There's the rope. Why did that rope take so long? Why did that take so long? All right, we'll just fast forward this. Siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino, siege rhino. Opponent got upset and roped. So, yeah, we're going to win anyway. GG's.